All right, let's talk just a little bit about putting in FISBOs in the MLS. Now, there's a lot of good reasons to put a FISBO in the MLS. You know, maybe it's a unique house and you were involved just as a buyer's agent, or maybe you sold a lot, worked with the builder, got a referral fee, it's got some good features in it, and you have the best of intentions of wanting getting this to your peers to use as a comp in the future. You know, there's good reasons to put in FISBOs, and of course then there's some agents where just want to make sure they get everything in the MLS, you know, so they get credit for that sales volume. And we all, you know, we're a competitive bunch, that's just the nature of this business, and we want that sale to go through to be included with our volume so we can advertise it to potential sellers you know and among our peers we have always got to compete with each other so there's there's lots of reasons to put in a FISBO but the thing is remember you are a member of the MLS and if you think enough of that listing to put it in the MLS put it in right if you don't do that, you're giving your peers just enough information to be dangerous. Guys, a little bit of information is really bad for everybody. It's just like pictures to start with. You know, how long does it take to really take pictures? You know, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchen, living room, outside, front and rear. You know, it's so easy to do these days. If you just put in a picture of the front of the house, anybody that's looking to the compare that, they have no idea by just looking in MLS. And a lot of times, whether you're the listing agent and you're putting it in, or you're giving it to an assistant to do or whatever, if it's a FISBO, you're just putting in the minimum information that you can get by with, and that is bad for us all. If you're gonna put in a listing, put in the details, you know. If, if it was a for sale by owner and there was any unusual circumstances, we need to know about that. If there's any concessions, we need to know about that, you know. Was it one of those deals where the owner said they would only sell it if they could get, you know, this price up here? Was it a divorce where they had to sell it? Details, you know, on there. If it's the house had an upper level or basement, anything unusual about the design, bedrooms, bathrooms, more details makes better comps. And if you want better appraisals and you want better CMAs, we got to have a better MLS. So I applaud you for putting in FISBOs in the MLS, and I implore you, please, if you think enough of it to put it in the MLS, please put in enough details to let your peers use it as a quality comparable sale.